Hey guys, so I am not able to do my live this Sunday as I normally would. So I wanted to come on and do a quick video for you guys. And I was actually laying awake this morning trying to figure out what I was gonna do this video on because it was very last minute. I was completely anticipating doing my live this weekend. Um, and we just had some stuff come up that I'm not able to uh, be live <laughs> on Sunday. So I thought it would be fun for me to show you what my dog Kim is currently eating. Now, we're gonna go through my freezer and I'm gonna show you all of her foods and look over the ingredient label and everything like that. And, um, but I do want you to understand that this changes. Um, in fact, like we fed her one food for a very long time when we lived out in California and then we had to switch it up. Um, and we have, we fed a couple different foods and now those foods aren't available where we are. And so things change and new companies come out and, uh, you know, on the market. And in fact, there's a, one specific company uh, called Cure, K-U-R-E, that I'm very, very like hyped up about. It's, it, they just started releasing and I can't wait to get it in my area. So understand that this is something that absolutely can and probably will change. But just so you can see the kind of foods that I'm feeding and get an idea of, you know, why I'm feeding them. Anyway, let's, jump into my freezer. All right, let's start in the door. We've got our goat's milks. The primal goat's milk we have, it has, uh, it's just goat's milk with turmeric, ginger, and cinnamon, which is great. And then we've also got the Bones & Co. Uh, goat's milk which I love. It is, let's see here, um, goat, uh, raw goat's milk, turmeric, and cinnamon. So also really, really wonderful. Um, and then, so we've got our small batch sliders. Um, pork is actually, we haven't gotten the pork before, the beef I know that she loves. So let's just take a look. Uh, what we've got here, 88% beef, 10% vegetables, 2% supplements, um, humanely raised, non-GMO, whole foods, right? That's wonderful. Uh, here, let's go to the ingredients. Beef hearts, beef livers, beef kidneys, beef, beef bone, organic carrots, organic yams, organic broccoli, organic squash, salmon oil, organic kale, organic collards, uh, organic apple cider vinegar, organic kelp, organic bee pollen, organic parsley, organic wheatgrass, organic bilberry, organic garlic, organic rosemary, organic basil, vitamin E supplement. Free range, no added hormones, or antibiotics, which is wonderful. And then the pork, it's the same percentages. And we've got pork, pork hearts, pork livers, pork kidneys, pork bone, organic butternut squash, organic celery, organic bok choy, organic green beans, organic dandelion greens, salmon oil, organic apple cider vinegar, vinegar, organic kelp, organic bee pollen, organic bilberry, organic wheatgrass, organic garlic, organic oregano, organic thyme, vitamin E supplement, no antibiotics. So, and no hormones it says. Um, so yeah, these are things currently what we're feeding. I did get this, first off, shout out to Pupology ATX um, for always looking out and trying to get everything I want and need. <laughs> this is something, um, this is a sample we have not tried yet. Um, it is gently cooked. So I'm not sure, we'll, we'll have to be extra cautious with Kim because she definitely does better on a fully raw diet. Um, so yeah, we're looking at, I mean, the in ingredients, it's not all organic, um, like small batches. So there's that, but you know, we might, might give it a try. I, I you know, it's gently cooked sous vide, uh, 100% 100 human grade ingredients. This, uh, we're, we're going to try it because 
sometimes people can't feed a fully raw diet, especially if you have, let's say, an immunocompromised dog or a dog that's going through chemotherapy, which makes them immunocompromised, um, then you may not feel comfortable feeding a fully raw diet. So we wanna try it out, check it out, see what it's all about. Yeah, so that's where we are currently. These are just, um, I bought a big bag of uh, beef green tripe treats. So I broke it up and, and froze it in separate baggies so that, oh goodness, I almost lost you. So that it uh, stays, you know, fresh longer uh, because it was a really, really large bag. So there is that and we'll get back to the video. All right guys, so you can see that uh, Right now we're, we're doing a lot of goat's milk, raw goat's milk, and um, mostly small batch, which is wonderful. I happen to really like them. Now, if you are going to your local pet supplier to find, or pet food supplier, excuse me, to find a small batch, let's say, and you walk in, understand that small batch has completely raw and they also have lightly cooked. So I personally don't buy the lightly cooked. Kim does better um, on completely raw. Yeah, if you're part of the Patreon family, you know that I made a mistake not too long ago and she had some GI trouble because of it. It was okay. We got it worked out we got her all fixed up she's doing good she's doing wonderful but just know that there is a lightly cooked version and then there is a completely raw version we go with the completely raw version and as you saw everything was completely organic which I love that we're able to provide that for her um, yeah we try very hard to eat organic ourselves and it can be really difficult to find find anything whether it's meats or uh, veggies or fruits whatever it may be it can be hard to find things that are, are organic. Uh, so anyway, uh, short video, but I did want to come on here, pop on here and say hi. I hope you do like the video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, not already subscribed, my goodness, I can't talk today. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and then click the bell to allow all notifications so that you get notified when I post a new video or I go live, which normally happens on Sundays. I'm just not able to this Sunday. So I'm going to go ahead and end. I know this is a very quick video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, also, I do hope to see you as part of the family over on Patreon. Um, that link as well as everything else is in my link tree in the description of this video. All right, guys, have a wonderful rest of your weekend or rest of your day or week, whenever you happen to be watching this. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.